we broadcasted the NCAA Division II Central Regional Tournament from Bearcat Arena, and it went live on the web and on KNWT Channel 8. It was a great experience for us. We had a six camera shoot and lots of different angles. It was pretty, seemed pretty, pretty semi-professional. So everything that we did started with setup on Thursday and getting all of our cameras set up and making sure that we're all good from that point. And then we started on Saturday, early on in the day. I believe it was a crew call was at like 1030 and we worked all day and went till the end of the day and then came back on Sunday, filmed a couple more games, waited another day, then came back and filmed on Tuesday. So, I mean, it was a lot of filming, a lot of basketball, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Everything went really well this weekend. I think we did a great job planning it out and being, we were very thorough in our pre-production so that helped us, helped us out a lot. And then um, when on s Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday, we had good people in good positions that all also helped us succeed this weekend. For preparation, we had been doing uh, actually a couple more basketball games throughout the season. Um, so we were kind of prepared already in that sense. Cody uh, Cooper, he was, like he was the main like executive producer for the shoot. We had already shot a couple of basketball games, so we knew how we wanted to set everything up. So that probably took an hour to do that, to set everything up. And then Cody had a plan and it was perfect and it worked so well. And it he said he spent like three or four hours on that. And we also had to get, call time, we get there like two, two and a half hours before each game. So we set everything up, get everything ready, ready to go. So that goes into pre-production too. So I'd say before each game, the individual pre-production was like eight or nine hours for each game. For each game, we had 12 or 13 people working for KNWT. We had producer, director, replay, graphics, switcher, four cameras, a play-by-play -play guy, a color guy, and then we usually had three or four utilities each time. It was great seeing all those uh, underclassmen coming out just and helping. That was pretty awesome. They were just there to help and it helped us out a lot, getting stuff like run to different places and camera batteries in cameras and keeping everything charged and ready to go. The hardest part about the setup process was uh, making sure that it was all done right before game time. I mean, we had to, have, there's always a problem that shows up whenever we are doing our setup. There's always just one little glitch that happens and we usually figure it out and we usually get it done, uh, but you know, making sure that you're ready to go by the time the game's going is is the definitely the hardest part of it because you want it to uh, be done. I was the graphics guy. I created all the graphics for every single game. Uh, so basically, if you saw like a a score, you know, the, the scoreboard, that kind of stuff, uh, any any stats about any player, any basically any graphic that came on screen, I made it either before coming to the truck or during the shoot. For the first day for Saturday, it took me probably four or five hours to make all the graphics because I had to research every single team that was part of our uh, region, uh, get their best players, you know, whoever scored the most points and you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, as director, I was calling out all the shots. I was letting everybody know what shots I was looking for. I was making sure that we had, everything was looking good, that our sound was good. I was pretty much just making sure the whole broadcast went afloat, making sure that everything went really well. Um, and just making sure that I think everything visually was looking good. As the director, I, I felt the pressure. I mean, uh, that is, you are, you're in charge of making sure that everything looks good that, that for this broadcast that's going out to thousands of people. I mean, this isn't this just isn't a regular season game. It's a it's a uh, postseason game for the NCAA tournament for people who are trying to win the championship. So I mean, you have family members from all around the country watching their loved ones play basketball, and you have friends watching that too. And people want to see a good quality broadcast, and they're going to know if you mess up. So there's a lot of pressure on you to make sure that you are telling the proper story and that you are telling the, uh, giving the audience what they want to see for watching these games. And for Tuesday, I produced the championship game, which was pretty great. We had, um, so as a producer, you're basically just a problem solver. You give instructions to people to tell them where to go and what to do. And you like are the, 
main man when it comes to fixing all the problems. So for example, on Tuesday, we had a, a camera go out. It was, we lost the feed of the truck and the power from the receiver for the wireless camera just shot and it was gone. So we had to find a battery. We had to, first we had to solve the problem, figure out what was wrong, and then we had to find a battery to plug into the receiver so we could get it to go. So it ended up, it took us five minutes into the game until we figured out the problem and then we fixed it immediately. So that was pretty pretty good to get that fixed. But, and then we also had some other smaller problems, but we, I think it went really well, even though we had some, some hiccups. Oh, definitely more stress being a producer because all the weight falls on your shoulders. The director, you're in the truck, you're just sitting, telling the switcher what to do and telling your cameras what to do. But as a producer, if someone screws up, the athletic department's kind of come for your head. And you're, you're the one in charge and it's just nerve wracking sometimes. I, I had probably my time, the time of my life. Um, it, was, it was a little bit of time consume, you know, time consumption, but it was totally worth it. Uh, we, were basic, we, were, we were basically working for the NCAA and I, you know, it's just, it's nice to, you know, think that we're making a, you know, making a difference. We're just students and we're putting on a national, and then I wouldn't necessarily call it a nationally televised event, but we were able to reach anybody who was on NCAA.com and we, they could watch us do our thing. And it, it, it made me feel so much better that, that we were able to do that. Like it was just so much fun. This was an amazing opportunity. I am very thankful that I get the chance to direct and get to do replay and just get to do all these amazingly cool things with our, our live truck because not every school gets that kind of opportunity to do those type of things. And not only are we doing it now and learning how to do it, we are doing it for our team that goes on to win the championship. So it's like a definite win-win situation. So you get to have a lot of fun kind of working with what you like to work with and winning a championship with your, uh, with your team. The time and effort we put in the production was totally worth it, 100%. We, uh, we had a lot of fun and it was a, lot of, a good learning experience for all of us. Even if you weren't, if you were just a utility, you learned about what it takes to go into a live production. And if you were like, if you were a producer, and I had never produced such a huge thing before, I produced my show every week. But other than that, hadn't really produced something like this, and that was really fun to be able to have, say, "Oh, I've done that. I have that notch in my belt." So that's pretty. I think the time was definitely worth.